Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get and cook Alaskan seafood at home. The first thing we need to do, super easy, is get a plane ticket. We are flying to Alaska. Wait, 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 wait. The first, first thing is finding warm clothes because I do not own a coat. I live in the South. The best thing I got is a hoodie or something, a vest, something. We're gonna need to find some, also some warm clothes. Oh yeah, now that we're in Alaska, big tip. Watch out for bears. They're big, they're scary. They love salmon too. We're here, we're in Alaska. Now we're gonna go fishing. How hard can that be? I mean, I haven't gone fishing in like three years, so I'm sure it's super easy, we'll figure it out. Now that we caught the fish, now we just gotta clean them, pack them, freeze them, and ship them off back to our house. Or we can get Sitka Salmon Shares to send us, that was a lot of S's, Sitka Salmon Shares sends us all the seafood that we can get that's fresh from Alaska, and they bring it to our door. We could do that, and then we could save all those other steps. What do you think? Let's break this thing down. I wanna open this up. Let's see what's inside. So I got a box from Sitka Salmon Shares. They were nice enough just to send me a box of seafood. So I, I'm really excited to see what's inside. Now, Sitka Salmon Shares does sustainably harvested seafood from Alaska. So let's see what they brought us. They sent me a huge box of halibut. Now, I love halibut. It's a great lean white fish and it is tremendous. If you go to a restaurant, you're gonna pay a pretty penny for a five ounce piece of, of halibut. They've sent me so much halibut. This is a lot of halibut. Now stay to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you my two favorite ways to cook halibut. Again, we're gonna do a pecan crusted halibut and we're gonna do a seared halibut with lemon butter sauce. It's gonna be delicious. I do love halibut, so I'm really excited they sent this to me. They have all kinds of seafood there and they send you a box every month that has whatever is in season. So that is the cool part about this company. And I can't wait to show you how to do it. Again, stay to the end of the video. I'm gonna show you how to cook some of this stuff. Let's go. All right, so now we got all of our halibut. It's coming in. It is frozen like a rock. Now, how do you defrost it? There are two different ways that you can defrost this thing. First of all, is put it on a plate or a sheet pan or whatever and put it in your refrigerator overnight. Let that thing come to temperature slowly, thaw out slowly. Now, if you're like me, that first time when that box comes to your door, you wanna make halibut that night. You wanna make salmon that night or whatever. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a bowl and then we're gonna put it in the bowl, and I'm gonna call. It, I'm gonna show you what's called a power thaw. Now, to power thaw, you take the frozen item that's been sealed, so we're okay. You put it in a bowl, and then you put water over it, and you slowly drip cold water. Cold water, not hot water. Cold water it has to be cold. That will work out better. We do not want to denature any of the proteins. We don't want to cook this thing at all. So it has to be cold water. It shouldn't take that long. 30 minutes or so, and you'll be ready to go to cook your proteins. It has to be sealed and it has to be cold water. Two tips. All right, so we have our thawed out halibut. We're gonna take a paper towel, give it a pat dry. This one is a little big, so I'm gonna cut it in half. So we get a couple more pieces. This one I'm gonna cut in half also. I think it would be nicer to have a little bit more, a couple more pieces. We're gonna do two pieces with our garlic butter and thyme, and then we're gonna do two pieces with our con crust. So, Let's get to it. A little bit of oil on each one. Our first challenge is to get a really good sear on each piece. So the way we're gonna do that is we are going to use a cast iron skillet. I'm gonna get a screaming hot cast iron skillet. We're gonna take our seasoned halibut pieces and then we're gonna like get a hard sear on them and then we will change what we're gonna do with each one. So let's, let's head to the stove. So again, I have a screaming hot pan. I'm gonna put my fillet, my I'm gonna put my halibut fillets in there, and then we're gonna make a garlic butter sauce to go with it. I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit to low. I'm gonna throw these garlic cloves in here, the butter in here, the thyme with that fry that thyme. Swirl it around. Once it starts to get that brown color, we're gonna turn the heat all the way off. Got a little spoon action here. We're gonna 
just baste that for a minute, that, that brown butter, we're gonna baste it right on the top of the filets. This is gonna give like a sweet, nutty flavor to these halibut filets, it's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven for probably just two or three minutes because there's a, it's a thinner filet and it's already spent more time in the pan than our uh, pecan crusted ones. So I'm just gonna kick them in the oven just for a couple of minutes to let them finish cooking and it's gonna be delicious. We have a hard sear on this halibut. So now this is kind of how my, my secret technique of how I get any kind of coating to stick to fish is I use mayonnaise. It's not gonna taste like mayonnaise, it's not gonna taste like anything. It's gonna keep the topping on the fish and just add a little layer of fat, add a little layer of deliciousness that you don't even know where it came from, but you're like, oh, what is that? Why is it so creamy? Why is it so delicious? That's why, okay, it's a little secret. And then we're gonna add our chopped pecans on top. So we just, just did a, like a rough chop of Cons. We're gonna make sure it's completely covered. We're gonna throw them in the 350 degree oven. We're gonna do about uh, five to six minutes and then they're gonna be ready to go. Go. So it's been about five or six minutes. Here is our pecan crusted halibut. Ooh, hot, a little hot. I worked in restaurants a long time. No feeling left to my fingers. So here is our brown butter basted halibut fillets. Okay, I got thyme, we got garlic, butter, delicious. Those on the plate. Every piece of fish needs a little bit of lemon on it. I just love a little bit of lemon on all the fish. So we'll just squeeze a little bit on both. Let's grab a fork and a knife. Let's see what we got going on here. So let's do the pecan crusted first. This fish is so good as far as it's dense and it's flavorful, super hot. It's about as perfect as it's gonna get. It's, like I said, dense, flavorful, hot, seasoned really well. Here's our butter basted one, thyme, garlic, but great seasoning, lemon, everything. Everything you want in a piece of fish is right here. This dish is so good. Very, very simple preparations. Thank you to Sika Salmon. If you wanna try their subscription box, check the link in the description. If not, just watch the whole video, watch the next video. Thanks for watching, check you later.